Like, you're, you're just tunnel visioning on, like, damaging people. You said you do with the support a lot. Like, really focus on keeping each other alive the whole time, and you're, you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna win games. I'm telling you right now, you will win games. All right, so! Today's video, we're doing something a little bit different. So we're gonna try and see how this goes. Let me know what you think in the comments, all of that. We're doing a series where it's spectating, but where are they now? Obviously, we've done a good amount of spectating videos now. People enjoy them. But what we're doing now is we're having people who have submitted videos about three months ago or further than that to resubmit videos and see the progress they have made since then. So this player we're watching was bronze before, now they're silver five. So there's been progress. Basically, they focused so much on trying to get a Lucio that they didn't keep their team alive. And it was just, it was a whole, I think it was a bingo video at that too. So today, we're going to watch them in silver and watch they're now playing Life Weaver. And I forgot the other hero it might be Kiriko. And we'll see if there's improvement, what else they can improve on. And we'll go from there. Sub to the YouTube if you haven't by hitting the sub button. Like the, because then you know my videos go live. Sound good? Sounds good to me. All right, let's, let's do this. It's, it's video time. I, okay, I can't. That's not going to stick. We're not doing that. They are saying their tank overextended too much and they're on Life Weaver Ana. So it's Life Weaver Ana, not Life Weaver Kiriko. Let's see. So just to, just to clarify here, since the intro, they were in bronze, they're now silver five. So they have improved into silver since the last time. All right, let's see. So on Life Weaver to start, Life Weaver this is in the new patch, so Life Weaver's buff. Um, don't be afraid to pull your BAP there, by the way. Your, 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 or your Life... Oh, actually, your BAP survived. Pull your Queen up. Get your Queen out of there. Get your Queen out of there. I, I, you know what you can do? Ha! <laughs> uh, 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 yep. So, there comes a certain point where, like, your teammate plays way too aggressive. And as Life Weaver, you have this ability to just pull your teammate out of that situation and hope they recognize that the position... They were just in a bad spot. Your teammate, you were losing your teammates. You give yourself better opportunity at that point, so... So just try to do that. What's the play here? What do, what do, what do, what... I, I want to point out again, your pedal will go on cooldown the moment you use it, so it's okay to throw a pedal down on the floor earlier than, like, when you throw your pedal down. I've been talking about this a few a few times when we watch a Life Weaver. Um, if you ask me what your Soldier 76 was doing right there, I could not tell you. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! I want to point out, I think you blamed your tank for that, but this this right here, this whole cart situation here was a team effort. I want to point that out. You said, like, I, I, that this might be where you mentioned your tank didn't get on the point. This right here is a team effort, okay? And I will play the song, don't you worry. The song will be played, but that is a team effort. That, that is not specifically on your tank. Everybody here, like, if you look at this, is... This is a team effort. Now, we play the song. They could have easily touched the point, and once again, team effort. Y'all, y'all did this together as a team, not just on your tank. That's, that's just like your team needs to communicate that the point needs to be held, and you need to recognize it's happening. Okay, it's okay to hold close here if you really want to. You're at the point now where like they cap the point. If you're all here, just commit to it. Just, just, just buy as much time as you possibly can. I'm okay with this. Also, one thing we we mentioned last time was that I wanted you to focus a bit more on your teammates because you were so worried about people going in your back line. So far, it very much seems like you're getting that concept a bit more now. Where, like, you're you're not worrying about, like, people... Apparently, you're not worried about people going to your back line to begin with because they captured the point. But you're not too worried about, like, the back line pressure as much. Um, and you're doing a good job of doing that so far. So we've definitely seen that improvement. That's on your Junker Queen right there. In case you're wondering... You, I, I would say, and I think anybody who plays Life Weaver, I want to see you start focusing a little bit more on trying to like, have a pedal ready to go because of how the cooldown works, right? I think you really need to like start to do that. 
A, a lot of really good life weavers do that, where they have a pedal essentially ready to go. And then they, they'll have their pedal cooldown up again, so they can kind of rotate that. See how it went on cooldown right away? Like, you could put another pedal down, but prior to that... And then maybe a second later, you have pedal again. Um, that will help you with a lot of stuff. Don't be afraid to use your tree proactively here. The reason why you want to use your tree proactively is because your teammates are playing really aggressive. And one of the best ways here, especially with your teammates playing that, just use your tree to keep the queen alive. And then let you keep the map control. Good job. Perfect. I'm happy with that. Nice job. Definitely see improvement, by the way. I want to point that out. I, I, I can already see it because you're focusing more on, like, the team effort. And, like, you're not getting distracted by things for, like, super long when it comes to, like... Oh, your Bastion's up top fighting somebody, you throw a few heals there, then you use your tree. Like, you're, using, you're, you're thinking about the game multiple ways now, which is always a good step for you, right? So, so that's, that's definitely good progress. We like to see that. Now it's about building off of that progress, and then we see what happens next, where you can improve at, and you just keep going. That's how it goes. Your queen does play a little bit aggressive, so what you need to do now is you need to adjust your position and your playstyle based off of the queen. Um, and what I mean by that is if your queen's going to play aggro, what's going to be better for your team? Everybody in your team playing aggro and working together, or everybody wanting to play a different way? Chat knows we're going with this one. It's better to have five people on your team committed to one strategy than having one person doing five different things. Straight up. The team, even if it's not the best strat that works together, will probably do better in most ranked games because it's unlikely the other team is working together. So far, not bad, though. I, I, I don't really... Position has been solid. I, I will say sometimes you turn around too quickly, as in like you go to reposition, but like you are life weaver. You have the capability of not even have to turn around and just use that. So pull your queen out of there, and I'm gonna explain why. There is a alt. Okay, so this is on, this on's you. This is on you. All right, and let me explain. People are gonna be like, first of all, have I followed the channel yet? And if you haven't, you gotta hit the follow button. Second of all, people are gonna go, hey, how was that on me? The Junker Queen was out of position. Let me ask you a question. If you have on a grenade and you don't use your on a grenade ever, okay? Like you're just not using your on a grenade. You're not using your utility and a lot of team fights can be won by that utility. So if you have a pull and you're on Life Weaver, that is a part of your team comp. So the moment you see your teammate by themselves in a Kitsune, there is no way. I don't care how good this queen is, unless I'm playing Jugger. I'm just kidding. Obviously I would get rolled here too. I don't care how good this Jugger Queen is, that Kitsune, 9 out of 10 times, they're going to get rolled. Only way, pull them away, now a waste of Kitsune, you have map control. Instead, because you don't pull them, look what happens. Your Queen's dead, you and your support are over here, everybody's kind of out of position now. We certainly know this Soldier 76 is going to somehow sprint to the cart and get rolled. You can just tell. I now need to follow this storyline. We'll head back to the Life Weaver in a second. I need to see where this story goes, okay? Exactly how we predicted. They didn't get him, but that's exactly what we predicted. All right, back to the point. Back to this now. Oh, there they go. Now they got rolled. Good position, by the way. This is good. Queen. That's a good save, by the way. You're looking at them going, oh, the cart, etc. That's a good save. Your queen needs to drop down now. Perfect. Keep the bash up as much as you can, but don't be surprised. Your queen should... Okay. I... Seven. That one's on the queen at that point. You pull the queen up there, like, yeah, you can drop point, but your queen has survivability. You have good spot. You want to stay there because you can kind of maintain the high ground throughout the... That's on your queen. You pulled them up, saved them. They dropped down. You can win that. I, I just how I see that one. The numbers do not favor us. Let's take to the wasteland. That was an ultimate. Once again, I... Pull them. Pull the queen. Pull the queen. There you go. I would... You're kind of committed to this team fight now. So I... Ugh, you're in a tough spot. I would just, I would just reset. Unless your team gets like three limbs from the flank now, you're just gonna get rolled. Yeah. At, at that, there's a certain point where you just need to like 
Uh, okay, your teammates are ulting now. Uh-oh. What's the queen doing? Um, uh, yeah, 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 you know, it's it's a good question. It, what I'm seeing is a, a tank who at no point wants to back up. What you mean? Sometimes it's good, but, like, you have to do that also with, like, thinking about where you are in the map. I also want to point out, you, you still are leaving, like, you're... you're I just gotta pause again, okay? Like, I, I, and I need you to start doing this because I'm seeing you do this all the time. This is more along, along the lines of just like reminding people who play Life Weaver that you can use your full kit, okay? So let's say that I, this is the flower petal, right? This, I don't know what this is. I, I actually have no clue what this is. You have a petal, okay? But if you're not using it, you're not using your kit. When I play with good Life Weavers in Top 500, what they do is they take their petal and they place it. Now the cooldown's automatically on, but what this does is when you have a Doomfist who decides to dive into their back line, rather than trying to maneuver around the map, or you having to hit a button, you just go like this and go wee like that. See, see that jump? I'm really agile. What that does is that basically allows for you to continue to do what you're doing with minimal hitting your buttons, which is putting your other stuff on cooldown or like, you know, not global cooldown, but like you have a time in between that. We have to throw the pedal down, then do that. So take your pedal, right? This is the pedal, drop your pedal, and now you have something when somebody's out of position. Or you need to just take the pedal up, right? You take the pedal up, and now you have a better healing spot. Now you can pull your teammate to a safe spot. And pedal just got buffed. You can't fire strike it. You can't coal people through it. You can't Ramatra punch through it. You have so much survivability. So if you're playing Life Weaver, make that a habit because you start doing that, you're gonna see more effectiveness when you play Life Weaver and less of like, I gotta go around the map like this, right? Because that's what you're doing. You're just, you're not using a utility of a hero that will benefit you so much. Use Life Weaver Pedal. Seriously. Use it. And that's a reminder to anybody who plays Life Weaver. So, like, you gotta remember, like, even if, like, you say you use it a lot in your games right now, it's still good for me to let people know who are learning Life Weaver, playing Life Weaver, to remind them of that. Because there's one thing that chat's probably learned when they watch my Oh, you got rolled. Nothing you do about that. But that goes again to the pedal. Same thing. Same thing. I'm just saying. Tank's playing aggressive, but you can do you have a lot to work on with with Life Weaver at that point still. Which is good. I will say you've had clear improvement since the last spectating, which is obviously a good sign. But only way to keep getting better is if we keep noticing some of these things. So also chat, how are you liking this uh this series concept of like looking back at people we've done spectatings on and seeing where the improvement has, or if there's been any improvement, no improvement, a lot of improvement, etc. And keep in mind, we will have the video previously here linked in the description. If you want to go back and see like that difference, it will be there. All right. Here we go. No, I mean chat brought up the, the concept of it. I like it. So with Ana, as Ana, remember, I, I'm gonna, you're going to hear me talk about this all the time. It's going to be about your positioning. You have good positioning, you will have good results. You do not need to run at the team. You want to play kind of how you were playing Life Weaver positioning, which is very similar. The way you were playing it, of course. You can be aggressive when you need to be. I want you to think about map control. Is this map control right now? Is this map control? Would, would, you, would you call this map control against Reinhardt? Because I, I, want, I want to show you something in a second. This is either going to go really well or you're all going back to spawn. You have a silencer? Okay. So, one, they could have touched the point. So apparently I'm just, this is, we've just become a musical.
easily could have touched the point. So, first of all, ignoring the result of this point, I do want to point out, go here. I just, just, just in future reference, and I know that this ended up resulting in your team capturing the point, but this is almost, this isn't even a coin flip, right? So, like, right here. You want to go more, like, here, because they can't get to you. You're in a good spot. You see how, like, you had to, like, run down those stairs and they got you? That's not always going to happen, right? Your team lucked out there. For future reference, this is not a spot you want to go to to hide because of that exact reason. You can get rolled there. Just go here. It's a safe pick. Look at their comp. They have a Bastion. No, they have a Junkrat and a Torb. You're not going to get headshot by Widow. You have... It just, this is just a spot for any support. I recommend this spot right here. I don't mind this play by you, by the way. This adjustment to high ground, I like. This is smart. This is good. They have to worry about you now. Now, I'd be careful of, like... Okay, yeah, that. I'm fine with that. Missed the Ana Grenade. Obviously, you could probably hit that on somebody, but this is fine. I, li I like this. This is good. All right, I would hide now and then hope that the Junkrat forgets about you. Perfect, they did. I need you to peek out a little bit more now. I want you to think about angles, okay? I want you to think about angles. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about something here. If you're right here, okay... How many of them can shoot at you? Here. If you're right here, you have now created multiple angles from the shoot at you. So, high ground, very good. Where you went on your high ground, not as good. You can just go here. You're fine. See? You're good. You're chilling. Lucky you. Not forgetting the payload, are we? I'll see what happens. You're powered up. I don't mind the nano. I'm trying to get a spawn. They have a Mauga. This is this is uh after Mauga was nerfed. Keep this in mind. This is this is on the nerfed patch, the current midseason patch. Otherwise the replay code wouldn't work. Nice! Job. Be careful of positioning. You're in a decent spot. I, I, I think you I think you over-rotated here, to be honest with you, but I it's still fine. What's your play now? We talk about this all the time. You're either, you're either the one who's going to be stuck on cart, or you're going up those stairs to the right. What is your play? To stare at the floor. Thank this you. is perfect. Okay, off to a good start. I'm watching. We're watching. Your team should win this. All right. I would have liked better position out of you, but it worked. So I, I won't. I won't go too. Won't go too too deep into that one. Am I excited for the new patch? Talking about season nine? Yeah. Absolutely. Still chilling. Still watching you here. That's a play by their. Their Ana can go anywhere else but that spot, and they go there. I don't even, I don't get it. All right, have fun. And then go for you. Oh, well, it ended up being a good out. What in the, why is that? Did I just watch a Reaper teleport in your backline to nobody? And then run past your teammates, Resident of Bastion? What? Oh. I think they were just there to say hello to everybody. What the? You can nano your Mauga or your Bastion. Both are good options. Both are fine options. Good job. All right, think about positioning now. Where would be the next spot you want to go to here? Are you going to go close left, or are you going to go take the bridge above you on either side? Nope. Playing low ground. This is a good timing to go take the bridge above where, like, your Mauga is, or go behind you to give yourself good high ground control. Keep in mind, whether or not you win the fight, I'm just trying to get you more in, like, the habit of figuring out what good position it is and what you're doing between team fights. All the same concept. Same thing. Like, your positioning technically is okay here because you're playing further back, but you're just going to get a bit more of a vantage point and make it so they have to worry about multiple different, like, I don't know, looking different spots, etc. So, I mean, like, I don't know. Your positioning, though, is one of the reasons why you're one of the few people up right now. See this? And this goes back to what I've talked about with good positioning. You just have good positioning, you'll have more situations like this. Where you can clutch a team fight, make a huge play, like, do things you normally wouldn't do. And, th and that's good. So, progress. 
Ooh, good sleep. That was very nice of your teammates to wake him up immediately. But hey, at least I don't have recall. Also, I want to point something out here, and this is where I, I'm seeing the progress. Like, we went from a player who was so hard-focused on anybody if they remotely went behind them that the rest of their team would get rolled. And now, you have a tracer behind you, you go, okay, well, we'll be fine for now, and you focus on keeping your team alive in front of you, which is now resulting in the possibility of winning the team fight, which it looks like it will. So do you see that? That right there is a difference. In my opinion. That was very nice of your teammates to stay in there, even though I didn't have to. And also, this good positioning has led to you being alive this whole team fight. Got one team fight, two team fights. See? And obviously, they weren't going to be able to touch the point. There are too many elements. Do you see this, though? And that's where, like, you can already see that progress, because before, there was a Lucio who was just, like, hard-feeding, and, like, you were so focused on that that you didn't even, like, care about the rest of your teammates, and now you're doing the opposite. You see a Tracer, you go, okay, that Tracer can do something. They don't have cooldowns. I'll keep my team alive. And then you spent the whole fight there because of good positioning. Staying alive. See the difference? You can see it. I was going to say you threw that too low, but I mean, you see it, though. You'll know that. Who can't shoot the Mercy there? That's fine. Nothing's really happening. You're good. Thanks. Try to stop Rez here. Uh oh. Focus on your Malga. I was just gonna say. Hey, you gotta understand when you hear if you hear a sound of a Bastion, just focus on healing your Malga. Because like they're gonna be the target nine out of ten times. So you kinda try to do a little bit too much there. So yeah, but that's that that is like very minimal on that one. The Torp turret, I mean the Torp turret is one of the best heroes in the game. I mean we already know that. Like that's just a thing. Here we go. Good positioning. Perfect. Stay right in here. This is perfect. Nice job. Get the sim turret. Don't worry about your mercy for a second. Your mercy's fine. Think about where they're at right now. You'll be in a good spot. Perfect. Can you see that? Do you see the difference between good positioning? And bad position on this first point. How much easier that was for you. Yeah, the honor grenades could use some work for sure. I mean, that, like, that's going to be like... You can see that, like, sometimes you're throwing them too low, it feels like. And then when, like, when you go long range, you throw them way too high. It's just it's something you'll fix. Good sleep. Throw an honor grenade. Perfect follow-up. Nice job. They're going to try to res right in front of your face. They might get the res. Nothing you can do about that one. If you lose this team fight, that's just that's that's fine. You're good. No worry, no worry about that one. That was, that was that was all good. That was just you know, honestly that was just a really good play by the Mercy. Straight up, the Mercy made that play. But they all just sat there and watched her res. That can happen though. Like that's like it happens in top 500 too. Like sometimes a Mercy makes a play and your team has to focus on different things and they get a good res off. And that's what happened. Like you got on the limb and you're you're focused on something else at the time. The Mercy made a good play. Sometimes it happens. It doesn't play, that doesn't mean that play works all the time, but it, you know. Position's okay right now. I have talked about this being a spot where you can get rolled by a Widow. Doesn't seem you'll have that concern. And you're off high ground. There goes that. All right. Good on a grenade, though. That's the kind of, kind of the play that makes you switch games? I mean, listen. I'm going to be real with you. If you're on the team that's getting rezzed on, you're also a part of not getting the res off. So... That's a team effort right there, I'm just saying. That's a team effort. Apparently they all try to dive you. You're backing up to kind of adjust the position. Good job. Get a little bit aggro after. I'm okay with this. Focus. Start to disengage slightly here, just by a little bit, just because like, and and, and it's fine that you're 
playing this close, but I just want you to like recognize that that, that diva went for you right away. There was a chance you fell over. Not saying that it will happen, but like if I'm getting nanoed as diva, I can definitely make a play on an Ana. It's one of the few times if I if I try to do that without being nanoed, I go for the Ana, the Mercy fully pockets the Ana, I fall over and I go, yep, I'm a tank. Banana grenade, good play. Team is looking at your ult. Everything's looking good ult-wise. Deep ult's gonna stop your play here if they decide to. Should be fine. No, your mercy is good. Your Sigma got rolled. It's good. Good deep ult. Good Sebastian. Good purple. You can handle your. That's wonderful. I'm loving it. All right, here we go. Everything's good. You're gonna lose this team fight, I think. Yeah. And it's not really... The only reason why I saw you losing that team fight is because eventually when you don't have your Sigma there after a while... Oh, wow. Did you get out? Look at this. Look at that movement. Your Diva's gonna fall over. It doesn't matter. Get out now. Get out now. Get out now or die in cart. One of the two. There's no stay in there. Just... A little bit of a stagger by your team. Your Diva saved you, so I understand that. This is a res, and this is either gonna go extremely well or you're going back to spawn real quick. Nope. Great Bastion L. Nice job. Kill your Bastion up now. Your Bastion just clutched that with that L. Good play. That was about to be tough because you were in overtime spawns. Now it's looking a lot better for your team. The only thing that could change is for some reason the Ana doesn't get rolled here. The Diva, yeah, you're good. Unless your team gets rolled by a Diva ult here, or they, I don't even know if they get Diva ult. 99%. Oh, they got it? And they couldn't get another point. I'm not, I'm not going to count that as a song, like, because that's just like a 1v5. Okay. Overall, I think we definitely saw improvement from the last time. Like, you can tell right away what you did more this game was focus on your teammates rather than worrying about someone going into your back line. And, and I think that's like a good sign for you. Obviously, uh, working your honor grenades, I want you to see more kind of like the way you play Life Weaver. That there's improvements you can make, whether that's your decision making on polls. But overall, like, that was good. Much more improvement from last time. And I think if you keep doing that and you keep making those strides, next thing you know, you'll be in gold or higher silver, right? So, good job. It was cool to see kind of like where that progress is from the last time we watched them. Yeah, they were, they were bronze last time, now they're in silver. Uh, once again, the previous video is in the YouTube description, so if you want to watch that video or see kind of that improvement, you can see it there. Let me know what you think about this kind of series concept. If you want to see more of these, if you're like, eh, let me know. I, I, we do take that feedback. If you like this video, make sure to like button, sub to all three YouTubes if you haven't. Pretty much every day uploads on all those channels now, so make sure to stop by all of them if you haven't. Really great videos. Or if you want to submit your own spectator, my Discord. Description. Description. Discord. Join there. And we record these live on stream. You can see the Twitch chat right below the webcam. We have a lot of fun here, so stop by if you haven't. With that being said, I hope you have an amazing day slash night.